Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can install Microsoft Office on your Windows operating system and activate it with a valid Microsoft Office activation key. So obviously the prerequisite of uh, this video is you should have a valid activation key of your Microsoft Office account. So I have already purchased a Microsoft Office app, student and home. Uh, uh, activation key and now we are going to see how we can install Microsoft Office and then activate it. So there can be two ways of activating your Microsoft uh, Office uh, app. One is if you have a brand new uh, Windows operating system uh, then you might also have all these apps uh, pre-installed which are Word, Excel or uh, uh, PowerPoint. So you need to open one of them. So I'm going to open uh, the Word uh, app. And once this Word app opens, you need to uh, sign in with your Microsoft account and then you can activate it. So here, when I click on the activate uh, uh, section here, you can see uh, all these apps are pre-installed, but they are not licensed. So I need to provide my license key here and then I can activate my Microsoft Office app, right? So I can just click on activate key and then sign in with my Microsoft account. If you don't have Microsoft account, I will show you uh, shortly how you can create one. And if you don't want to uh, activate with your Microsoft account, you can also choose, I don't want to sign in or create an account. So you can just click here and then directly provide your activation key here. And once you provide your activation key, uh, you can uh, just activate your Microsoft account from here. Now, if you don't have uh, any pre-installed uh, Office uh, app, what you can do? So I will just close this. And what you need to do is you need to go to this website, which is setup.office.com. And it's going to open this kind of window. So I'm going to put this link in the description of this video also. And here also you need a Microsoft account in order to uh, activate your product key. So if you don't have a Microsoft account, as I said, you can uh, create one by just clicking on this create a new account here. And uh, once uh, it opens, you can uh, just click on create one. And then if you uh, want a new uh, email address, you can uh, click on get a new email address. And then here you can give a, a new email address ID which you want to create. So I will give a, a email ID. And here I can choose if I want outlook.com email ID or hotmail.com email ID. So I will choose outlook.com and then click on next. And here I will provide a password for that. If you want to see and verify your password, you can uh, check this checkbox. And uh, then I can click on next. And on the next window, I can uh, provide my full name and then click on next. And I can choose uh, the country in which I'm living in. And also I can choose the date of birth. So once you have chosen uh, all these uh, things, you can just click on next. And then if you see this kind of uh, window, you just need to verify if you are not a robot and then your Microsoft uh, account will be created. So once you have created your Microsoft account, you can just click on sign in and sign in with your uh, Microsoft account here. And then on the next window, you just need to provide your activation key. And once you have provided your activation key, you can uh, choose your region. I'm choosing Germany because I am located in Germany and then click on next. And now I can see a uh, product key confirmed, Office Home uh, Student uh, 2019. And on the last step, you can also see, I would like uh, information tips and offer about uh, Microsoft 365. I don't want to get any uh, emails, so I will just click on next. And now you can see uh, that uh, this window opens, which is from account.microsoft.com. And here I will be able to see uh, my uh, Office application, which I uh, have activated. So I have activated Office, Home and Student 2019. And then on the next line, I can see install uh, on the PC or Mac, which is added on this date on uh, my account. So here I can just click on install button 
and then I can choose uh, the default language. Uh, by default, it's English in my case. You can also change uh, the other language in which uh, you want to install uh, this Office app on your Windows operating system and then click on install, which is going to download uh, this uh, Office setup exe file, which is around 6.3 megabyte file. And once this executable file is downloaded, I'm going to just click on this executable file and then I'm going to just open it and press yes here. And I'm going to minimize the browser. And now I can see uh, this window which says stay online while office downloads. And now I can see uh, this message which says you are all set. Office is installed now. So I can just uh, close this window. And now I can start using Microsoft Office on my Windows operating system. So I can see OneNote here and I can see uh, Excel here. So I can uh, just search for any Office app. Uh, I will open Word for now. And it's going to just start it and it's going to detect that you already have activation key and you just need to sign in with your Microsoft account here. And once again, give your Microsoft account email ID and then click on next and now provide your Microsoft account password and then sign in and then here click on next. And on the next window, you just need to accept the license terms and conditions. So I will just click on accept. And now I can see this message which says product activated restart any open office application to apply the changes. So I will just click on OK. And then I can just click on the blank document and start using Microsoft uh, Office uh, applications on my Windows operating system. So in this way, you can uh, install and activate your Microsoft Office uh, app on your Windows operating system. I hope you have enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next video.